Ah, the plight of every new side to player learning how to stall. They watch a few MOGS videos, jump into free play, and can't do it. Well, what if I told you that I've got a brand new, ridiculously simple training method that is 100% guaranteed to teach you how to stall? All you need to do is follow the instructions in this video, and by the end of it, you will have all the knowledge you need to get your very first stall. So come with me, let's learn how to stall together. This training method differs from most in Sideswipe in that it does not take place in free play. Instead, we're going to be jumping into the tutorial section, then advanced. Now go up to the menu and press this button, next tutorial. Do this two more times until you reach this section called jump shot. This is the start of our training. During the spectate section, you'll notice that the ball is hovering in midair quite low to the ground, and this is perfect for our stall training. To practice our first stall, all we need to do is drive up to the ball and align the middle of our car with the middle of the ball. And now we're ready to stall. The steps we're going to follow to do our first stall are jump, jump again, half air roll, get a flip reset, and then half air roll again. If you're unfamiliar with half air roll, make sure you go into the settings and enable single press air turns. Then just press anywhere on the right side of your screen in between your buttons and there's your half air roll. For more information on this and basic steps on how to stall, go watch my beginner's stall tutorial here. To briefly explain what's going on during our stall, this first jump puts our car in the air. The second jump uses our flip and pushes our car towards the ball. If you want to get a light touch on the ball, just tap jump here. But if you want to push it further away, hold jump. The first air roll puts the bottom of our car on the ball, and then this last air roll resets our position ready for more stalls. Once we master that first stall, we can then add more stalls by repeating these steps. And then once we master that, we can move on to doing more advanced versions like this. And there you go, you've now done your first ever stall. Congratulations.